France has officially banned domestic flights when a train ride of less than two and a half hours is available instead. French ministers, as well as the president Emmanuel Macron, were quick to pat themselves on the back, claiming to be at the forefront of an ambitious climate change policy. Emmanuel Macron uh, tweeted, I committed to it. We are the first to do so. And he included uh, this uh, picture that says promise kept in French. But today, I found five flights leaving from Paris, Charles de Gaulle Airport, and going to Lyon, even though there are trains are practically every hour for this route and the journey only takes two hours. So how is that possible if there's a ban that's been put in place? Well, for that, you have to take a closer look at the fine print, and you'll find that there are actually many exceptions to the rule. For example, although still in the Ile-de-France or Greater Paris region, the Paris Charles de Gaulle Airport is located in Roissy, about 20 kilometers away from the capital. So even though the Paris-Bordeaux train takes less than two and a half hours to get to the center of the city, the Bordeaux to Charles de Gaulle airport takes a little bit more than two and a half hours, and therefore these domestic flights have not been cut. Another exception, if the routes uh, don't have enough early morning or late night trains, well, those domestic flights uh, aren't canceled. And that's exactly what happened uh, with the Lyon to Paris Charles de Gaulle airport, even though the train only takes two hours to get there. Currently, the ban only concerns these three routes that you're seeing, Paris Orly Airport to Bordeaux, Paris Orly to Lyon, and Paris Orly to the western city of Nantes. Climate activists as well as organizations have criticized the government, saying this ban is much ado about nothing. And they do have a point. The ban only concerns 5,000 flights per year out of nearly 200,000 domestic flights per year in France. That's 2.5 percent of flights that have been banned. And according to the Directorate General for Civil Aviation, this ban will only only cut 55,000 tons of CO2 annually. That represents only 2.6% of total emissions from domestic flights in France per year. And anyways, two of these routes, the Paris Orly uh, Airport to Bordeaux and the Paris Orly to Lyon, had already been shut down by Air France back in 2020 because of the pandemic. So this new law isn't really grounding any more new planes. The ban will apply for at least three years, after which the French government will take a closer look at its impact before taking any new steps.